It looks like the last chance to keep the Kings right here in Sacramento will depend on how much our area can impress the NBA. That's when it sends a delegation here on Thursday. Absolutely. Just around the corner, Mayor Kevin Johnson is hoping to get some regional help to help keep this team in Sacramento. Bob Moffitt is at the rail yards right now with how the mayor is drawing up the plans for a last second attempt at victory. Bob? Uh, just try this on for size. How does, how does this sound? The rail yards, home to your Sacramento Kings. You know, just about a week ago, that thought was all but dead in the water, but the mayor says there's still time on the clock for a whale of a comeback. The city has a reprieve, an overtime, if you will, to showcase Sacramento's fan loyalty, business, climate, and political will to get a new arena built and to put the Kings in it. The mayor says this time Sacramento has a real chance to succeed where it has failed so many times before. What's different is I do believe we have the political will. The Icon Taylor Group is preparing right now for Thursday's visit from Clay Bennett, the owner who was head of the relocation committee. He is scheduled to meet with local business leaders who have pledged $7 million in the past two weeks. Kings fans are certainly happy they get a second chance to impress the NBA, but they might have rather had someone else lead the committee. Clay Bennett, as you may recall, is the man who bought the Seattle Supersonics. They're not in Seattle anymore. He moved them to Oklahoma City. Johnson says the city can learn from Bennett's previous actions to keep the Maloofs from repeating them. For us to be able to hear both of those perspectives, I think are only going to strengthen our ability in Sacramento to, uh, to essentially keep the Kings here. In other words, knowledge is power. Before the NBA comes to town on Thursday, Mayor Johnson plans to hold a regional meeting tomorrow with representatives from six area counties and as many as 22 cities to secure regional support for a new sports and entertainment complex. The big question, of course, is where does the money for a new arena come from? It is the weak link in our case to keep the Kings. I do believe the public is interested in understanding what the options are. And we've got, I don't know what those are yet in terms of how to pay for it. So we've got to go out to the public and have a, a real conversation. And at the end of the day, I think we will find a way to get across the finish line. Now, interestingly, the mayor poo-pooed the group that former King Chris Weber announced last week that he was joining in an effort to keep the Kings here in Sacramento. The mayor calling the group not as credible as some media reports had made it out to be. It's a sort of an interesting side note uh, to this whole thing, and especially at a time when the whole community is supposed to be coming together. Yeah, and Bob, adding to that, you'll remember the last time we attempted this regional effort to try to secure an arena, that didn't go over too well, unfortunately. Now, there have been a lot of people and a lot of moving parts in this thing for a long time. And, you know, it's amazing that we have another two weeks to try to give it one last shot. And the mayor says this is a different group. This is a different group of people who are, he has put together that hopefully will be able to make the turnout this time a little bit different than it has been in the past. All right, Bob, we're definitely staying on top of this one. Thank you much for that report. And